Hello, welcome inside the mind of Matt. And in this video, I 3D printed this curved lithophane and I customized a frame to go with it in Fusion 360. So if you'd like to see what I did, make sure you watch the rest of this video. Stay tuned. So in one of my previous videos I did about how to make lithophanes using Simplify 3D. If you didn't get to see that video, I'll put a card right up here, but check that out. But I also made a video on how to make your pictures easier to bring into the lithophane and make it so that the colors you know, and the thickness is easier to difference and it's using black and white. But I made a video and I'll put a card up here for that as well. But there's also another place that you can make lithophanes and that is with 3dp.rocks forward slash lithophanes. And you can make them curved, you can make them flat, you can make them round, you can make them in all kinds of different shapes. So when you do something like this, if you want to make a frame, I'm going to show you how to get this curve so that you can take a couple measurements bring them into Fusion 360 and do a sketch, extrude it, and get it so that it looks like the final product. So let's go over and I'll show you the simple tools that I used and then we'll jump over into Fusion 360 and we'll draw a sketch. So let's go over and take a look. So really to me the only important part was this arch. So. What I did is first, I got a measurement from point to point. Now, I played around with it first and I did the inside, but then I discovered by doing a certain thing, if I get right to the edge and then get an overall measurement of the whole thing, square this thing right off, and I see that I've got 186 millimeters. Now giving a little bit of tolerance, me I went with 188. Now next, in order to visualize this, lined it up with like this, stuck my ruler underneath and just kind of lined it up to the closest and furthest spot out here and got my measurement. Move that a little bit so you can see. And I went with 42 I believe. And then of course the next measurement is you're going to want the overall which is 112 millimeters. So let's take those measurements, let's go over into Fusion 360 and I'll show you what I did. Alright, so here we are in Fusion 360. We have a few measurements and we're going to start off and we're going to make a sketch right on the top plane. And we know we're going to be making an arch. That's the whole point of this. So I'm going to choose a three point and I'm just going to make a couple of points and I'm going to make an arch. So next we want to start to define this arch a little bit. So I'm going to take and highlight and click on that dot and holding the shift button, I'm going to select another dot and then I'm going to make them horizontal with each other. Next I'm going to take and I'm going to center this guy right up. I'm going to highlight that guy and the center point by once again holding the shift and I'm going to make a midpoint right there. So next, let's define the size of our arch. Hotkey of D will give, bring up the dimension tool, highlighting that dot and that dot. We're gonna call that 188 millimeters. Okay, kinda stretched it a little bit, but that's okay, cause we're gonna highlight this guy and we're gonna highlight this guy. Right out to the side and call that 42. Boom. 
now our arch is defined now to get a matching one I'm going to highlight that I'm going to go up to the sketch I'm going to create an offset and I'm going to call it minus five millimeters in order to make enough clearance for our lithophane to fit in there next thing you know I got to close it up I'm just going to create a line from that dot to that dot and then from that dot to that dot. Now there's the slot for our lithophane to go into. So next we need to create a little box around it. So let's go with a rectangle tool. I use hotkeys here, so I'm going with R. And I'm going to go with a center point. And we're just going to kind of put it there and just kind of make it. Going back to defining, I'm going to hit my D and I'm going to make this guy and this guy will make that six millimeters. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. And then we'll do the same thing up there, say. And from there to there, same thing. Now we got six millimeter gap all the way around it and everything's defined, it's all turned black. It's confined. So next I'm gonna create a, a little bit of backdrop for my lithophane to sit in. I'm gonna create a line over there. Now if you click on that and slide it right over there, it'll give me that blue line. And then I know that they're parallel with each other. And let's go with another line, let's say right there and right there okay so now we have all these different planes to work with I'm gonna try it on the sketch and see if it works but I'm gonna do a fillet tool there we go and this guy and that guy right in the sketch I'm gonna do it just like that, make it look the way I want. It's not defined, so it's still blue. It's not confined, I should say. But anyways, from here, we're gonna do an extrude. I'm gonna extrude this first part and the center part five millimeters. I'm gonna go back up here. I'm gonna turn my sketch back on, select this center part, and I'm gonna extrude that. We're gonna say, two millimeters and then this back one is going to go up the back we're going to call that 110 millimeters and I know this by trial and error and I'll show you in the final product here in a little bit so there's the base and the lithophane will kind of slide right into that spot but now we need to create a top so what I'm going to do is from this plane here, I am going to create a offset plane. And then I'm going to create a sketch. And on this sketch, let's go back to where we were. I'm going to use the project by using the P and I'm just going to highlight all the different spots that I want. Why isn't it letting me select that base? There we go, specific entries. Just didn't have this right here, specific entries I had, bodies. And it was preventing me, so I'm still learning fusion myself, but here we have the top of the lithophane set like that. I'll turn the bodies back on, hit okay. And now I can extrude, I'll extrude that and I'm going to extrude that 
and I'm going to call that another five millimeters. I'm going to turn my sketch back on. I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to extrude it two millimeters. And I'm going to cut. Actually, I have to go back here for a second. Let's go back. Because when I extrude this, five millimeters, I do not want to join. I want to make a new body. That way I can export that as an STL separately because we don't want these printing together. So now I'm going to hit OK. But I needed to select this guy too. I'll edit feature. I'll select that guy as well. And then we go. Turn the sketch back on. Select him. Extrude him. Two millimeters. Cutting. Okay. So there we go. That is my lithophane frame. Now, just to show you it's going to work, I'm going to import a mesh. Import the model. It's going to take a second and it's going to think. Now it's right in its place. Move it up two millimeters. And there you have it. So now I just got to print it and get a light put into it and then light it up. So we'll off to the printer we go. All right, we got some more CC tree PLA here. This is that black roll that I was sent. And I'm going to uh, test it out and print it on something that I said that I was going to be printed on. Well, it's time for that project. So I'm going to load it up and I'm going to print.
So this is the first one I printed and I got the measurement a little off and I was completely level. And then I ended up printing the second one. And then with the first cover that I had, it didn't quite meet up. So then I ended up just increasing the width of this or the depth of this and then went in a little bit deeper and then it ended up matching up quite nice so i do have uh an idea for putting a switch in this and making it a final nice little gift for for mother's day so don't forget if you like this video hit that like button if you haven't subscribed yet and you like this video and you want to see more like it make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification so you know when my next video is coming out also down in the description i have all kinds of links where you could do some shopping you can buy me a cup of coffee become an affiliate link or, or even order some 3d printed parts all down there in the description check those out special thanks to all those that let the ads play buy me a cup of coffee and super special thanks to all my patreon supporters which will be listed at the end of the video thanks everybody for stopping inside the mind mat happy printing be safe pouring and keep on coming back because there's going to be more inside the mind mat